prayer closet. And Ellie loves my prayer closet. She's so sweet. She never cries at me. She's just the sweetest girl in the world. My family loves her. She brings us so much joy. And yeah, a lot of times, like, I feel like I'm her mommy. Yeah, Papa. She's like my first daughter. But like, I prayed for just this dog, this wing, I had prayed. And God gave her to me. But yeah, a lot of times, like, I worry about her. I'm like, does she have enough food? Or how about her medicine? It's like, is she, is she for her congestive heart failure? I'm always looking at stuff for her. And I have to give it to God. It's just like, I love her so much. But my dad, my mom, I've asked God this before, and he confirmed it to me. At first, it was in my spirit, and then I asked him to confirm it to me. And then my mom had a dream today that just confirmed it even more. So, dog, bad news, dogs don't, don't go to heaven. But greater news, they will be in the new earth. Yes. Guns, dogs don't go to heaven because, you know, they don't have, they have part, they're not human, you know, human. Um, heaven was made for humans and angels but you know even the heaven that is now it's not the it's not it's like that heaven's like a hotel kind of because until you know the armageddon the earth the new jerusalem has to come to earth like we're gonna be on earth you know heaven and earth will pass away you know heaven and earth will pass away new jerusalem is coming and so when your animals die and I have my Cali, my Chihuahua I had from 3 to 12. Like I said, I knew I could I never love another dog again. Like I said, but God had my time to heal, and I got her in college. It took some time. So you may think you may never, you may go through a breakup, or you just lost a loved one, go through a divorce. You may think, I'll never love again. But God will open your heart, and a lot of times, it'll be better. Not saying my I love my Cali. She was my, like a little rock for me. As a child, you know, going through with my parents and stuff and a dad on drugs and, you know, I was, I had a great childhood, but still like Ellie, McCallie was just awesome. But it's like Ellie is even greater because not that nothing against Callie, but we go from glory to glory to glory to glory. Like our days on earth, will, as we grow in Christ, will get better and better and better and better. And so, yes, yeah, so your, your loved ones, your animals will be, when they die, they'll go back to the dirt. But when New Jerusalem comes, God will revive your animals. And if you loved your animals, because he cares for them. In Psalms 51, 10, he's like, all the, all the cattle are mine. Like, animals are his. Like, we're made in the image of God. If you think you love your dog so much, your animal, your horse, don't you think God, lo God loves them way more than you could ever love them? So just be encouraged, especially if they're your family dog. They're going to come back to you. They're going to be returned back to you. If you live in Christ. So live in Christ and you will see your beautiful animals again. So bye, Auntie. I love you. Say bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So I just want to pray a blessing over animals and that God will heal our heart if we lose an animal. So, Lord, I thank you for my Ellie. I thank you for the blessing of companionship and friendship that comes with our animals, Lord God, and our dogs, Lord God, and our cats. Lord, thank you that we'll, we'll surrender them to you, Lord God. We play the blood of Jesus over them. Protect them, Lord God. Protect their health, Lord God. Let them have a great life. Let us connect in a deep way, Lord God. Will we be friends and they'll feel love and have the best life with us, Lord God. Help us to adopt animals, to care for the broken animals, Lord God. And Lord, no matter what sickness comes upon them or when it's their time to go, may we be able to surrender to you. Sur surrender them to you no matter how hard they'll be. No, no matter how hard they'll be, knowing that you'll take care of them. Knowing that they were first yours, Lord God. We're just borrowing them. We thank you for that we'll be with them forever in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Bye.